Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to enable the advanced boot options in Windows 10. So do not confuse this with the advanced startup options that are present currently in Windows 10 by default. The advanced boot options are reminiscent of earlier versions of Windows with the black screen that would give you different options such as loading into different operating systems and multiple ones were installed. Uh, launching into safe mode or running specific Windows tools. So in Windows 10 this option is set off by default so you can't access this legacy menu. However I will be showing how to resurrect this. So like I mentioned before if you actually are using um, two operating systems on your computer there will automatically be the advanced boot options available. If for some reason you're using fastboot, you would not be able to use the advanced boot settings. So with those two points out of the way, let's jump right into this. And again, it's very important. You have to have an administrator account in order to do this. We're going to right click on the start button. Then we're going to left click on command prompt admin. If you get a user account control pop up, select yes. Now in our command prompt, we want to type in bcd, all lowercase, bcd, edit. Now you want to do space, forward slash, set, another space. Now we're going to do a curly bracket. So it's the same spot on the keyboard as the flat bracket, but this is a little curly one. And you want to type in boot, b-o-o-t, and then type m-g-r. And then you want to do the end closing bracket, same curly bar as we did before. Another space. Now type display, boot, menu, another space. Now type yes. And then hit enter on your keyboard. So we can see this operation has completed successfully. If for some reason you wanted to disable the boot menu from loading, all you have to do is just type in the same command we did above, except instead of typing yes, you want to type no. So at this point, you can close out of the command prompt, and you should be good to go. So hopefully you will enjoy the restored advanced options that you once had in your previous versions of Windows. And as always, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.